Virginia's embattled governor now saying it wasn't him in a racist photo. ABC's Zachary Keish was there as Ralph Northam appeared with his wife before camera, taking reporters' questions, refusing to resign. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam rejecting the growing calls for him to step down. I took an oath to uphold this office and serve the people of this commonwealth to the best of my ability. As long as I believe I can effectively fulfill that task, I intend to continue doing the business of Virginia. Calls for his resignation began after this photo of Northam's medical school yearbook page in 1984 surfaced, showing two people, one in blackface and the other in a KKK robe. After initially apologizing for the photo, he now says it's not him, adding he would remember it because he had worn shoe polish in a dance contest in 1984, dressing up as Michael Jackson. When I was confronted with the images yesterday, I was appalled that they appeared on my page, but I believe then and now that I am not either of the people in that photo. Virginia's Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax breaking his silence on the issue, calling the photo a searing reminder of the modern legacy of our nation's original sin. But he stopped short of saying Northam should step down. Still, many are calling for his resignation. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling on Northam to do the right thing so that the people of Virginia can heal and move on. A second photo of Northam then emerged from Virginia Military Institute in 1981, a racial slur listed as his nickname. He says two individuals at VMI gave him that name. I don't know their motives or intent, and it ended up in the yearbook, and I, I regret that. The nickname appears in his college yearbook. The governor admits it was something he was called, but claims he doesn't know why, saying you'd have to ask the other students. Zachary Keish, ABC News, 